Today, I'm going to show you how to massage for tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. For tennis elbow, we will be massaging all the way from the elbow to the back of the hand. For golfer's elbow, we will be massaging from the inside of the elbow all the way to the inside of the wrist. Last week, I did a little history lesson with the namesake of tennis elbow and today, we're back to your regularly scheduled programming how to treat your injuries. First, let's talk about tennis elbow massage. There are two massage techniques that I like to do for tennis elbow. The first technique is for releasing the tension in the muscles of the forearm and the wrist. The muscles of the forearm and the wrist are small enough that I feel it's much easier to just use my thumb and run my thumb along the forearm from the elbow to the back of the hand. For today's massages, it would be a very good idea to use some type of massage cream or even just some lotion. It will make the massaging much easier on your fingers, there will be less friction between the fingers and the skin of your forearm. If you don't have any massage cream or lotion, or if you're on the go, you don't have to use massage cream, your skin might get a little red from the massaging. I do this for a minute or two, and I'll follow this up with some static stretching for my wrist extensors. And this helps to further release the tension in the muscles of the forearm. The other massage technique I like to do for tennis elbow is to help control the pain. If you have persistent burning pain in your lateral epicondyle of the elbow, you can take a couple of fingers and gently press them against the spot that is hurting. This calming pressure helps to inhibit the pain in the muscles to a certain extent. It also helps to release the tension. When we do this, we're essentially using our fingers as a temporary tennis elbow brace. The downside of this technique is that even if it is effective, the pain tends to come back as soon as you release the pressure from your fingers. And this is most likely because your elbow is actually inflamed. So in this situation, there's two things you can do. First, if you are resting, you can use an ice pack, which is much more effective in decreasing inflammation in the muscles. And the other situation is if you are busy and you're not resting, you're busy at work or you're busy at school and you don't have access to ice for the moment, what you can use is a tennis elbow brace. This way, you can still use your arm, do your daily activities, your work, your school, and you don't have to constantly keep your fingers on your elbow to relieve the pain. If you don't have the tennis elbow brace yet, you can use an elastic bandage instead. Just make sure that it's not too tight, so it doesn't cut off any circulation. Also, for both the tennis elbow brace and the elastic bandages, you're not supposed to put these directly over the spot that is hurting. Instead, you're supposed to put it a little bit away from the spot that is hurting, about an inch or so. In the instruction manual for the tennis elbow brace, it is generally recommended that you put the brace 2 inches from the elbow crease. And this is because the mechanic of this tennis elbow brace is not exactly to inhibit the pain like the massage technique, but it is to help prevent the sensitive and inflamed area from contracting or stretching. Now let's talk about how to massage for golfer's elbow. Similarly to tennis elbow, I like to use my thumb and run my thumb from the elbow down to the wrist, except this time it is from the inside of the elbow to the inside of the wrist. And I do this for a minute or two and then follow it up with some static stretching to further decrease the tension in the forearm and the wrist. If you cannot use your thumb to massage your forearm for any reason, you don't have to use your thumb. You can use your fingers. I prefer to hold the fingers loosely together like this, like a cupping hand, and then I just run my fingers down the forearm like I did before with the thumb. Now if you ask, what about massagers? What about massage guns? Well, my personal opinion is most massage guns are a bit too bulky uh, to massage this part of the body. The forearm doesn't have very large muscles. Although you can use massage guns, it is not necessary. Just in my opinion, it is easier to use your own fingers and your thumb. But if you happen to have something small and portable like the Bob and Brad Q2 Mini Massager, which is compact, powerful, and easy to hold, I'll say, why not? Go ahead and use it if you want. If you haven't checked out my previous video on the origin of the name for Ted's elbow, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think. If it's not a cup of tea, let me know so I'll know whether to make more of those type of videos or not.